On Thursday, a lawyer for former Death Row Records CEO Suge Knight confirmed his client was driving a car involved in a fatal hit and run. According to KABC, Knight says he tried to escape in his car after he was allegedly attacked by two people. It was during his escape that he hit two pedestrians. Both were taken to the hospital and one was later pronounced dead. Hollywood Life reports Knight was on the set of a film being shot in Compton when he got into a fight with two crew members. The outlet says there was a passenger in Knight's vehicle who is now being questioned. This latest incident comes about six months after Knight was shot six times at a nightclub ahead of the MTV Video Music Awards. Multiple reports indicate Knight will be turning himself in. His lawyer is reportedly in the process of arranging his surrender. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is investigating the incident as a homicide. For Newsy, I'm Micah Sargent.